I never thought that a Project Veritas investigation into a serious subject would have turned out to be also hilarious, looking like a slapstick comedy sketch, but we are living in an insane society, as you know. But before we get into that footage, it all started when they got one of the directors of research at Pfizer, the big pharma company, on video admitting that the company appears to be doing gain-of-function research, which, as you know very well, may have led to the coronavirus leaking, or being released on purpose, out of the Wuhan lab, causing the entire pandemic. Pfizer ultimately is thinking about mutating COVID? Well, that is not what we say to the public. No. Don't tell anyone this story. You probably shouldn't tell anyone. You probably shouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> we're exploring, like, now, you know how the virus keeps mutating? Yeah. Well, one of the things we're exploring is, like, why don't we just mutate it ourselves so we can put up we can create undeniably developed new vaccines, right? So we have to do that. If we're going to do that, though, there's a risk of, like, as you could imagine, no one wants to be having a pharma company mutating fucking viruses. It could be, like, very controlled to make sure that this virus that you mutate doesn't create something that, like, you know, goes everywhere. Something Which crazy. Which is the way that the virus started in Wuhan. To be honest, like, it's, it makes no sense if this virus popped out of nowhere. And, like, yeah, I know. So you may recall that for over a year it was against the terms of service to post on social media platforms that the coronavirus may have been man-made and may have leaked from the Wuhan lab. You weren't supposed to ask those kinds of questions. But a year into the pandemic, about May of 2021, those kinds of questions just couldn't be ignored anymore. And so Facebook and the other big platforms quietly changed their terms of service and allowed people to well, discuss the truth. And now for the fun part. Yesterday, Project Veritas posted a follow-up report showing James O'Keefe confronting the person, as they usually do later, with the footage of them saying the things that the director at Pfizer said he wasn't supposed to be talking about. Hey there. Is this seat taken? You work for Pfizer. My question for you is, why does Pfizer want to hide from the public the fact that they're mutating the COVID viruses. Is this real life? I'm literally a liar. What, I was trying to impress a person on a date What's your by position? lying. And this please, is please, absurd. Please don't touch me. Well, this is not, by the way, why don't, are you doing don't this? tell anybody. Someone who was just working at a company to literally help the public. So he's saying that they're not doing the kind of research that he said that they were doing, and that he was just lying to his date trying to impress them about the creepy weird apocalyptic type of research that his company was doing you up. you really did please read the class as soon as possible it was very unsafe can you please unlock your door no you, no don't let them leave please unlock don't let them leave okay so he called the police and the restaurant locked the door which actually is a felony. That is false imprisonment. You're not allowed to prevent somebody from leaving a particular area. That is a crime. But that was just the first crime committed against Project Veritas and the beginning of the chaos. Door. Give him why is going on here? Please unlock. Please unlock the door. Felony robbery. Right there, he just stole the iPad, which had the footage that James was using to show him what he had said earlier. There's a difference between theft and robbery. Robbery is theft that also includes violence. And that violence doesn't even have to cause injury. So him literally just shoving somebody and then stealing the iPad elevates it now to felony robbery. Okay, there he did it again. That's the bodyguard, the cameraman. That was self-defense. Adding to the hilarity when the criminal was on the phone calling the police on Project Veritas, or really in a sense himself, he also conveyed that he was concerned that there wasn't enough diversity amongst the Project Veritas camera crew. What? Can I get a check for the belt? Wait, no, do not give me your check. No, don't let them leave. Because I want the cops to know this. Do you want to put me in jail for asking you a question? Yes, sir. What is the intention of calling the police? They have, like, no one's digit right now. We have Can I talk to you, please, about this video? Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five white people. There's four, one, two, three, four, five white people. <laughs> Why would you bring race into this? Please read the cost as soon as possible. It's very unsafe We have you on tape talking about mutating the COVID virus. No one mutates a COVID virus. May I show you the video? No, I want to call her, please, 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 please. 
we have to leave? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I asked No, you cannot just leave. Are, are you, do you want me to leave? I want the police to come here and see all of you people. You, this is can, I, can, you, can I ask you about this, this video? Insane. Please. You can tell them about how he's lying to a press Here, date. just, just, is it true what, what you say? What is this? No. I literally was on a birthday with a guy, and like normal men, you lie to impress a date. Mutating <laughs> There's nothing normal about you, buddy. I'm gonna play that again in case you didn't catch what he just said. I literally was on a birthday date with a guy, and like normal men, you lie to impress a date. Please, 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 un please unlock the door. Get him, why is he going on here? Stuff. There's the robbery. Please unlock the door. Please unlock the door. And now destruction of property. Please unlock the door. 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 Here we go, watch. This is, this is remarkable here. Felony robbery, destruction of property, assault. Unlock the door. Unlock the door. Unlock the door. Okay, that's pretty much the gist of it. So far, the mainstream media is ignoring this story. And the Daily Mail over in London deleted this article that they had published about it. Why don't we just mutate it ourselves? Director of Research at Pfizer reveals in undercover footage Firm is exploring manipulating COVID to make it more potent by infecting monkeys to create new vaccines. Marco Rubio sent a letter to the CEO of Pfizer demanding answers, and if we don't get them, then we could just subpoena him because now Republicans control the House of Representatives, and that means we are in control of the committees and have subpoena power. And speaking of committees, Congressman Adam Schiff, who used to be the head of the House Intelligence Committee, was just kicked off of that committee entirely by the new Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, and he's very upset about that. Today, Kevin McCarthy removed me from the House Intelligence Committee all for doing my job, for holding Trump accountable, and standing up to the extreme MAGA Republicans. <laughs> okay, so that is a meme. I think it was produced by the guy Maze or Maze Moore on Twitter. <laughs> okay, but that is a real video that he then applied a filter to from TikTok. Okay, so Joe Biden actually just last month signed an executive order banning TikTok from all government phones because of the security risk, okay? because it's basically a spy app for the communist Chinese. And so what does Adam Schiff do? He started a TikTok account, and that was his first video. Project Veritas, you may recall, was completely banned from Twitter two years ago, but thankfully Elon Musk completely restored them not that long ago, so they're back. You can support Project Veritas by going to projectveritas.com slash brave, and this year, you can support my work through Patreon by going to patreon.com slash Mark Dice or click the link in the description below. There's also a link to my subscribe star down there as well. Those are basically crowdfunding services. It's a way for people to sponsor their favorite YouTuber for five bucks a month or however much you want. So click the links in the description below and check it out.